النهاردة In terms of aquaponics in general, it's, as the word says, it's a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaculture being fish farming, and hydroponics is uh, growing plants, soilless plant growing in water. This is our hydroponics section of the project. Yeah, you know, these systems are really good at growing a really wide variety of uh, different leafy greens, herbs, vegetables. We've got some tomatoes here. We've got three or four different kinds of basil. Because we don't use any chemicals or anything else, we only biological control. We don't use any pesticides or insecticides. Um, you can taste that. You can eat anything from the farm. We have these blue and yellow traps that you see. Uh, all around and we do a lot of companion planting which is basically like a biofumigation so you, you plant very strong smelling plants in between other plants that can that um, attract certain pests but it's the kind of thing that it's not like if you have a problem with chemical pesticides you just spray it it goes away the next day it's you have to really know what you're planting you have to know what the potentials are you have to be looking out for them you need to catch things nice and early you also don't want to use a lot of biological control because like with chemicals or pesticides or anything else, certain pests will build tolerance over time. The hydroponic systems in general, uh, growing plants in water, you, it, it gives you two advantages. You are both able to grow at a higher density and a faster growth rate because of the controlled environment, because you control uh, the water quality. Uh, here in an aquaponic system, different from a high, purely hydroponic system is that our water quality is controlled through the symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants and the nitrification cycle. So we feed the fish, the fish feed the plants, we don't have to uh, put any chemicals or ammonia or whatever in our water. Literally one, one and a half horsepower water pump, one, three, four horsepower air blower. Mm. Per, per system. The rest works on gravity. So that's, I mean, that's a tiny energy footprint. Generally controlled environment agriculture, whether it's greenhouses, hydroponics, aquaponics, any of that, is good for extreme environments. And here we have extreme heat in the summer, it gets quite cold in the winter. You're controlling the environment as much as possible. Mm. I mean, even though we're not really that controlled, I mean, we use netting for our greenhouses, mm. but we plant seasonally. So you can imagine that this would work in western desert towns like Siwa, Farafra, Kharga, Dakhlaga oases there. You can also look at coastal regions. You can look at the entire Gulf of Arabia. So, uh, you know, any, any, area, any area where there is a severe shortage of water and agricultural land. Hydroponics gives a better value for land and money. But then on the other hand, it's much more difficult and you have much more risk. Uh, and so it is higher risk and higher return. And most people don't take it because it is such a high risk investment or even like a, a high capital investment. It takes a lot of money to start up a farm. So normally, what, like this is, this is a Russian kale. So normally what happens is we use this here and we place it in Oh, I'll cut just like, just like this. And so this, this is the transfer from it being a seedling and then into the hydroponic system. In the first stage, it's 20 to 30 days. And so they're taken at about this size here once they start touching each other. You have two tables kind of leaning in towards each other. And this is basically like here, you know, these two tables coming in. And then the water will go down. Uh, into um, the water things and then come back up again and then go in and then around and just it keeps recycling. So here you have the water going in from that one and then you have a pump inside that little room there and this is where the water would be coming out from back, back from the system. And it has that light reddish color because of the nutrients that are in there. It's mainly the iron that gives it that color. 
This is this holds about a uh, hundred thousand uh, liters, and this is where we get water, uh, the underground water. We'll put it in here as a reservoir, which keeps us going uh, in case there's any problems with electricity that we can't get water at, uh, uh, for some time. Uh, this is then kind of uh, broken into uh, different chambers, and every single chamber uh, then uh, feeds a different area of the farm. So the younger uh, plants will get uh, their own nutrition, the older ones will get their own nutrition. And that way we can kind of customize uh, the growing areas inside. And also that reduces risk from, uh, from, from diseases that, uh, that may spread through water. We're not organic, uh, but we're basically as clean as you get because lettuce is it's almost impossible to grow completely organically, in Egypt at least. Um, so when it comes to pesticides or pests, we, we use completely 100% organic methods. Um, when it comes to funguses, we may use fungicides sparsely and not very much and even if we do, we do. We allow for enough time for that chemical to have been completely broken down before we harvest or sell that. Um, so at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's much cleaner than any organic produce that you would get because in organic, they do spray pesticides. Uh, it's just that they need to leave a window of time before they sell it to you. Beautiful roots. <laughs> nice and perfectly white. It's been very difficult because there is no know-how, nobody knows how to do this in, in this type of climate with this type of crop. And so we're doing everything from scratch. Uh, there is no knowledge base uh, uh, regarding what we do. And so we need to learn everything. We do everything trial by error, trial and error. And we normally make a mistake first and we lose a lot of money making that mistake. We lose a lot more learning how to avoid that mistake the next time and solve it as well. So you could go through several cycles or years just to understand how to fix one problem. <laughs>